friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. In my last class, I taught you how to store or save images in the Cloud DB. And today, I will show you how to load those images from the Cloud DB and show them to the user. Let's begin. We need to load image data and show it in our list view on two occasions. When the app is started, that is the screen is initialized and when any new image is taken by any of the users, that is we need to refresh our list view. Hence, for the first scenario, we need to call our Cloud DB to get the data when the screen is initialized. So add the cloudDB.get value call after asking for camera permission here. Okay, so go to Cloud DB. Go down and here we have the procedure call cloud db dot get value. So use that procedure. And here, what's the tag? Our tag is this one. So we can right click on it and duplicate it so that there is no spelling mistakes. So it's better to duplicate it. And here, if there's no data, then return an empty list. Go to lists and get the create empty list block, okay? The get value call will trigger the got value event after receiving data from the cloud DB. So again, go to cloud DB and get this event got value. And here we need to first check if the tag is picture data because your database cloud DB might have a lot of data with different tags. So we need to check whether we are getting the data for the correct tag. So how to do that? Go to control and get the if then block and go to logic and get the equal to block and hover over tag to get the get block for it and we check against our picture data tag. So duplicate it from here, okay? Now I will be making a procedure for updating the list view. Why am I making a procedure? Because exactly the same code is needed for the second occasion that I mentioned in the beginning of this video, that is when the user takes a new picture. So go to procedures, get the first type of procedure and let's call it update list view and here click on the cog wheel and drag the input here so that the procedure requires an input and the input is our data returned by cloud db okay and before i write the code for it Let's call the procedure so that our got value event is completed. Okay, so inside the if condition, if the tag is equal to picture data, just call the procedure update list view. Click on procedures and then call this procedure update list view and then hover over value because that is the data which is being returned by Cloud DB and plug it in here. So this procedure will take care of showing the data in the list view, okay? And remember the reason we made the procedure was that the same code is required for the second scenario. That is the user has taken a new picture. One of the users, any of the users has taken a new picture and saved it in the cloud DB. So in that case, what event is triggered? the data changed event of cloud db so click on cloud db and get this event and here the code is exactly the same even the checking of the tag so right click on it duplicate it and plug it in here okay so this is the advantage of making a procedure that is we have one place for writing the code and code change becomes easier. Now let's write the code for our procedure. Let me magnify it a bit. So this is our procedure update list view. So what is going to be happening here? First of all, remember that this data contains two types of information in it. It's a list and within that list, each item is a list too this one it has some text data and the encoded remember the word encoded the encoded picture data so in the list view 
we will be showing only the text data for that image and if the user chooses an item from the list the picture will be decoded for that data and shown in the image component this one okay so first of all we are going to be setting our global pictures with data list to the data provided to the procedure which contains the data return from cloud tb see this get value the data return by cloud tb and once we have the data we have set it in our pictures with data we are going to make a temporary list so go to variables and get this initialize local variable block and here i'm going to name it temp list and it's initially an empty list block okay and i'm going to go through the entire list and get the required data from it that is the text data so go to control and get the for each item in list block and what is the list the list is our global pictures data list so i can duplicate this one and choose pictures with data here and i am going to be then adding items to our temporary list so from lists get the add items to list block and the list is our template so hover over it and get the get block for it and the item now this is important we have to extract the text data from this item which is actually a list containing two things in it text data and the encoded picture data so again go to lists and get the select list item block and here the list is item okay so hover over it and get the get block for it and the first index has the text data so come back here so remember it was the first index has text data and the second index has the encoded picture data so go to math get the number block and make it one here okay and once we have constructed our temp list which contains only the text data for our pictures we are going to set our list views elements so tap on list view and get its set elements block and make sure that you do it within this orange block and hover over temp list and get the get for it so we have filled up our temp list with only the text data from our cloud db data which contained text data and picture data okay so once we have done that now the last thing left is when the user selects an item from the list view which contains the text data for all the images the image against that text that picture information should be shown and remember that our image data is in base64 it's encoded in base64 so we need to decode it back to the actual picture okay so what event is triggered when user selects an item from the list view click on list view and this is the event when list view dot after picking and here we are going to use a q4 base641 extension and this a procedure called base64 to image and this will be decoding the image and here we have to provide it the picture data but how to get the picture data the picture data is inside our picture data list this list so we have to do two things first we have to get the item that has been selected by the user and then corresponding to it we have to get the picture data okay so this will make more sense when i do it so go to lists and 
get the select list item block and first we are going to get the actual item that contains both the picture and the text data from this list okay so duplicate this and bring it down here and what's the index the index is the item that has been chosen by the user okay so list view go down and we have selection index okay now this item will contain both the picture data and the text data what we are going to do is we are going to just extract the picture data from it so again go to lists and get the select list item block and here the list is the two itemed list and the index is now two because our second index contains the picture data so get the number block make it two plug that in here and what is the image the image is the image component in which we want to show the selected item from the list view click on image one go down and you will get the actual component and plug that in okay so this is done i hope you like this tutorial and use it in your future projects as many apps require images to be saved in the cloud database if you like my work please consider supporting me by buying me a cup of coffee the link is in the video description also don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of the great projects that i have planned for you thank you for watching have a good day and goodbye